Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mio Life Food Kitchen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again. All right, today we're gonna be making some bouillon. I know, I'm, I say it every day, quick and easy recipe. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to lay everything down for y'all, so I'm gonna show you everything that I put in there. I have my meat boiling. I'm gonna bring y'all over. It's gonna be a simple bouillon. Since I have some fresh corn um, straight out of Bell Glade, I'm gonna put some corn in there too. I don't usually put corn in there. I've tried it, it's good. I have the corn, I'm gonna put it in there because I love corn and it's my business. Anyways, so we're gonna make some bouillon. I'm only gonna make it with some beef neck bones, some um, turkey wings, and some crabs. That's it, that's the meat I'm gonna put in there. Like I said, it's gonna be a quick recipe, nothing fancy. We're gonna have some peanut spinach, some queso in there. We're gonna put some carrots. We're gonna put some yam, some yellow yam. We're gonna put some dumbre. I'm gonna make some dumpling for you guys. And I'm gonna put some, I might put some potatoes. I don't care for potatoes, but I think I have some in the fridge, so I might, I might as well use it. I'm gonna put some potatoes, if I have any. If I don't have any, I'm not gonna miss it, trust me. And I'm gonna definitely gonna put some plantain. Now, the things that are really, really, really important to me in bouillon is plantains, dumbre, dumpling, and yellow yam. These three things are my favorite. And of course, my carrots. I like my carrots to be in nice, decent chunks. And of course, my spinach, because I like my bouillon to be very watery. I don't like thick bouillon. I don't like thick, 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 sorry, not thick, thick bouillon. Because I like my bouillon to be watery. That's how I like it. That's how my family loves it. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to bring you all over. You're not going to see much of my face because, like, like I said, nothing is pre-prepped. My meat is um, seasoned. It's boiling. And we're going to dump everything in there. And in the process, we're going to have a very, very savory bouillon trust me my bouillon usually good but i ain't gonna brag i'm not gonna brag because that's what we're gonna make today and it's gonna be easy yes very easy for those of you here when i said this is very gonna be simple and quick yes it's gonna be simple and quick but of course by in the, in the time that i make the video i already caught most of the time by prepping the meat i didn't put much of that on the video i did small clips on that bango so we're gonna move forward to the meat that's boiling so we can start prepping like peeling and stuff like that <laughs> all right this is the meat you see Ooh. Our meat, I'm not gonna touch it. I wanted you guys to see it. Our meat is boiling. Meanwhile, we're gonna cut them potatoes. Everything we're gonna put in there because we're making a one pot bouillon. I'm not doing things on the side. Oof. That's hot, that's hot. I'm not gonna do anything on the side. I'm not gonna boiling no, no my meat on one side and then everything else. We're gonna put everything in here and the, that's how I make my bouillon. It's always been good and delicious. So, all right, as I get ready to peel my vegetables, let's check on our meat to see if we need to add water. Water, water, water. Oh, my goodness. My, my, my. All right, our meat is cooking beautifully. I don't want the pima to hit it. You see this? We're not making a lot, a lot, a lot. Let's add a little bit of water. Let's add some water. Mes amis, j'ai un petit L1 pour moi, non, mes amis. Listen, y'all, L1 just came out with this new song. Oh my God. This young artist is awesome, awesome, awesome. Shout out to L1, IT. You are great, young man. You are awesome. 
I pray that God continue to bless your talent so you can make it all the way to the top. You are very smart. I love that song. Not too much water. Not too much water. And then we're going to go back to All right, we're gonna try our meat to see where we at. Um, I've already peeled most of the vegetables. I don't like when my, you see, I didn't add a lot of water. This is our juice from our meat. Okay, our meat is looking really good. It's getting to cook. Okay, the quit net no. It's not cooked yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Because remember, we're making bouillon. Everything will cook. The bouillon will cook for another hour. So our meat will not be broken. It's not gonna be Vienna Bakraze Pasuke. Gambute. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, honey. Yes. Now Let's start putting the stuff in there. This is our spinach and croissant, watercress. We're gonna cover that and let that simmer before we add the other stuff. Told y'all, bouillon not take too long, but we'll be back very soon. All right, we're gonna make the, the dumbre, the, how do you call this? We're gonna make the dumpling. I put some salt in the water. And then we're gonna put some onion powder. You don't have to do all that, but I choose to. And some garlic, because I want my, my dumpling to have a little taste to it. I'm not making a lot. Okay, perfect. This is all-purpose flour. One cup. Moi t'es prêt pour me bol. Moi t'es prêt pour me bol. Let's put a little bit more. That's it. Make them pans work. And this is our dumpling.
You don't put a lot of water. Bon, on musique là, non, ma fumée dans la musique là. Look at our dough. We're not making no pate, honey. We're just making some dumpling. Now, normally with pate, when my dough gets like this, I'll put some butter. That will not be necessary here. You see, once your bowl is clean, that's when your dough is done. This is how I check my dough. Once that all that flour is clean off my bowl, that means we are ready and we're done for that part. Let's clean up. All right, let's check on our spinach along with the meat. We can give it a stir. This may seem like a lot of this, um, spinach. It is really not. So we're gonna add water so we can start putting our vegetables. Some people do hot water that's already boiled because some people boil their vegetables on the side. I don't do that. Y'all might say, why is she adding the water on the side? My mom taught me do not ever add water in the middle of, of your boiling pot. It makes it taste, you know, not too good. I don't know about all that. I just don't do it because that's what I was taught. So I put it on the side. If you see my bouillon have a little bit of color, it's the... Uh, vegetables I use in the in the seasoning in my meat it's a vegetable I use in my meat now at that point we can add more seasoning if you want to but you do have to taste it as you go along because of course, it's gonna lose some of that flavor, but it's fine. Now, before I add my vegetables in there, I want it to come to a boil so I can taste the seasoning to see if it's up to my standard. That's when I start adding my potatoes and my stuff, you know, for our bouillon to start consommeing. That's what we call it, bouillon consommé. C'est l'heure où fin ajouter tout bagage ou après tant basically pour le cuire parce que du moment que ajouté Vegetable, when they cook, your bouillon is done. That's why I cook my meat for about, uh, it's been an hour since I've been cooking the meat. So I know my meat is almost done. Another 15 minutes should have my meat done because I don't want my meat to crazy in there, but I want it to cook. You know, I want my meat to be cooked, well done. Anyways, so I'm gonna let this come to a boil. I'm gonna taste the seasoning part of it before I start putting my stuff. If I need to add anything like garlic, onion powder, a little bit of Maggi, bell pepper, and stuff like that, I will be adding those as we go along, but I'm gonna wait for it to come to a boil before I start brasse, you know, you know, stirring it and tasting it. All right, I will be back. All right, let's check on our bouillon. Um, it's boiling. Now, this is when you taste it to see if it's, if it's to your taste. But again, let me put a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic. Garlic. A little bit of um, complete seasoning. The reason I put this seasoning mostly because I like I don't like when my bouillon have that white color. I like when my bouillon have a little bit of shine to it. Now, bell peppers and peppers. And that's when you can 
add your if this is not how you make your bouillon uh that's your business that's how i've always made my bouillon okay very good now, after I clean my potatoes, my yum, my carrots, I put them in water because so they don't change colors. Let me know how many of you mix. Let me see. How many of you make your bouillon like this, like so? But that's how I make mine. Hey, yes, that's it. We're going to let it boil some more. And we'll be back. All right. Now, we're going to check on our vegetables. As you can see, I added some parsley in time. I'm satisfied with the taste. To me, I feel like it needs a little bit more water, but I'm gonna play it by ear because to me, that's already a lot of water and I don't like that much. I mean, not a lot of water. <laughs> it doesn't have enough water because I don't like my bouillon to be sticky and pues. I like my bouillon very liquidy. So we're gonna wait for it to come to a boil before we add our crab and our dumpling. I'll be right back. All right, let's check on our bouillon. It's coming to a boil, a boil, a boil. It's looking good, huh? Told ya. I told ya. I told ya. Look at this. Look at this. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. Mm -hmm. Let me stop. Let me stop. We have spinach, we have watercress. To me, it's already like, you see our meat is detaching from the bone? Nah, <laughs> you see? How our meat is detaching, detaching from the bone. There we go. It's this. Mm, yes. Now, we're gonna start adding our dumbe. This is how you make the dumbe. You grab a piece. All right, now, we're gonna make our dumbe. You piece a piece, you roll it. I like my dumbe like this. That's how I was taught to do it. Now, when you put your dumbe, always put it in a boiling bouillon. You don't want your beer bouillon to be cold and it's not to a boil. <laughs> your your dumbe is sitting there looking inflated. One time I made that made dumpling with the self rising flour. Oh my god, that was so funny! As I put the dumbe in there, the dumpling in there, it kept going bigger and bigger. I was like, oh my god, what is wrong with this? And when I look at the packaging, it was self rising. So please, when you make your dumpling. Don't use self-rising because it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger until you can't no more. And bigger and bigger and bigger. Ravaiti pumte boko. Utabjui la viu. You can give it a little shape if you want to, but ain't nobody got time for that. We are hungry. Mm 
All right, we got all, all our dumplings in there. We're gonna let it simmer. Within a good 30 minutes, our food is cooked. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, um, let me go ahead and put the crab. Now, as I was cooking, I had my crab in lemon and vinegar. Although it come already clean, when we can't find live crab, we went with the frozen one. You still have to clean it. When crab is not in season, that's what we get. So we get what we get. All right, I'll be back. All right, let's check on our bouillon because do you remember when you added water after you put your seasoning, you always, and especially when you add other stuff, you have to check to see if if it's to your taste. Parce que de vous filmer tes épices, l'on ajoute tes yams, ou ajoute tes baïsons, tout le bagage, c'est pour prendre épices tout. Faut regarder pour être toujours satisfait avec le goût. I might add a little bit more water because I feel like it's not moving around much. As you can, I don't know if anybody noticed, I didn't put no oil. Ma mette l'huile, ma fait bouillon parce que vient déjà bon l'huile. C'est pas la peine, ma ajouter l'huile encore. Vous n'avez pas juste été tonne, bagaille cuite. Et puis pour nous retirer bouillon, just watch the pepper, pour ne pas péter. All right, guys, let's check on our bouillon. Oui, monsieur. All right, now I added a tiny bit of water. Now our stuff is getting cooked. You see our plantain is changing color. That means it's cooking. It's not looking as white. Our yam as well is not looking as white, so that means they're cooking. And our meat is falling off the bone, yet still stay in the bone because you don't want it to overcook. I added a tiny bit of water because I didn't like the way everything was moving around. To, it was too tight for me. So I wanted to add a little bit more. So we're gonna let it boil another few more minutes. And basically, that's it. This is our bouillon, you guys. Um, I will come back with the final product. Meanwhile, I'm sipping on some cremas from Mio's Delightful Cremas. Mm. This is the coconut one. Sorry, pas grand encore. Moi la pire. I didn't add no oil. All that is from the food. It's from the meat. That's all the fat from the meat. Sink it in there. Put this in the middle. Let it get the boil so we can get the nice aroma. And we're done. This is actually my first time making it with corn. My very first time. And these corns are so sweet. Oh my goodness. They are so good. All right. I will show you the final product. Well, the basically when I'm trying it and eating it. But I'm happy with the taste. Wonderful. If anybody noticed, because I put the Maggi, the powder, I didn't put salt. The only time I used salt was in my dumpling. I didn't use salt separately. So we are looking good. I didn't want to make that much bouillon, but I ended up making a lot. It's okay. I'm not cooking tomorrow. That would be food for tomorrow as well. All right. I will see you later on, you know, with the final, final product. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the bouillon is ready, is ready. This is our final product. We're gonna put the bouillon. Oh, look at the turkey. You see how the turkey is falling off the, off the bone? That's how I like my bouillon. I like my water to be watery, 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 watery. All righty, I will see you in a few. All right, so we are back and it's done, completely done, over. We finally finished. 
I showed you guys the final product. It's still boiling. Let me turn it on low because our bouillon is done. And this is our final product right here. So I'm gonna try for you guys. Like I said, I like my bouillon very liquidy. Thank you, Jesus. Bless this food and everything in it. Amen. Mm. This weather. I said, like I said, yum is my favorite part of the bouillon. Let me try some potato. This is a piece of potatoes. Mmm. Mm. Yes, this is our yum. Oh. Mmm. This is a piece of the turkey. Some people cook their meat separately. I don't do all that when I'm making my bouillon. Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. Well, 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 well. Let me fix this. All right. This is how I like my bouillon. And let me know how you make yours. Some people like their bouillon thick. I like mine very liquidy and juicy. And I can see my vegetables in there. It makes me feel like I'm drinking bouillon. Mm. Oh my God, very flavorful. Listen up. Thank you again for this journey. It hasn't been long. That wasn't three hours. That wasn't three hours. But you know, I'm gonna cut it for you. Y'all not gonna get the whole thing. All the prepping, I did short clips of everything so I can make, so I can expedite the video for you guys. But I will definitely post everything for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for being part of this journey. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and thank you to everyone who shared these videos. Thank you to anyone who tell their friends and family about it, and especially the ones who actually try those recipes. I've had a few people calling me, letting me know, oh yeah, I tried this recipe, it was really good. I tried the way you made it, it was so good. I, You know, it's different than what I make, but yours is good, I like it. I've had a lot of positive um, feedbacks about this channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And I thank everybody who has been part of this journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on your notification box, and please share with your family and friends. Now, the more people I have, the more encouragement I'm gonna have um, on doing this. And I can get more feedbacks. I can get more recipes, idea. And remember, don't be afraid. If you want me to make something, let me know if you if you actually want to come and cook with me, let me know. We, we'll work something out. I, I don't know yet, but we'll also it out. Depends on who you are. But there's some people I'm still waiting to come um, aboard and cook with us because this is what I do. Now, um, I'm going to let y'all go because I got to finish my bouillon. Huh? And my daughter's waiting to eat. I know you're waiting. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for being part of this channel. I will see you on the next video.